trying not to read poems that um, have music, and then all those requests uh, have music, um, so it's their fault. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. Um, so, I've always thought that um, love poems are the political poems, and the political poems are the love poems. Um, so here's a political poem for you. <laughs> Winter, I told you, I think icicles are magic. You stole an enormous icicle from a neighbor's shingle and gave it to me as a gift. I kept it in my freezer for seven months until the day I hurt my foot and needed something to reduce the swelling. Love isn't always magic. Sometimes it's just melting, where it's black and blue, where it hurts the most. Last night I saw your ghost pedaling a bicycle with a basket towards a moon as full as my heavy neck. And I wanted nothing more than to be sitting in that basket like E.T. with my glowing heart blowing right through my chest and my glowing finger pointing in the direction of our home. Two years ago I said, I never want to write our breakup poem. You built me a time capsule full of big big chew and promised to never burst my bubble. I loved you from our first date, at the batting cages, when I missed 23 balls in a row and you looked at me like I was a home run in the ninth inning of the World Series. Now every time I hear the word love, I think going, going. The first week you were gone, I kept seeing your hand wave goodbye in a windshield wiper in a flooding car on the last real moment I believed the hurricane would let me out alive. Yesterday, I carved your name into the surface of an ice cube that held it against my chest till it melted into my aching pores. Today, I cried so hard the neighbors knocked on my door and asked if I wanted to borrow some sugar. I told them I left my sweet tooth in your belly button. Love isn't always magic, but if I offered my life to the magician, if I told her to cut me in half, so after that, I could come to you whole and ask for you back, would you listen? For this dark alley love song, for the winter we heated our home from the steam of our own bodies. I wrote you too many poems in a language I did not yet know how to speak. But I know now, it doesn't matter how well I say grace, if I am sitting at a table where I am offering no bread to eat. So this is my wheat field. You can have every acre, love. This is my garden song. This is my fist fight with that bitter frost. Tonight, I begged another stage light to become that back alley street lamp that we danced beneath. The night your warm mouth fell on my timid cheek as I sang, Maybe I need you, off key, but in tune. Maybe I need you the way that big moon needs that open sea. Maybe I didn't even know I was here till I saw you holding me. Give me one room to come home to. Give me the pawn of your hand, every strand of my hair is a kite string. And I've been blue in the face with your sky, crying a flood over Iowa. So your mother can wait to Venice. Lover, I smashed my glass slipper to build a stained glass window for every wall inside my chest. Now my heart is a pressed flower in a tattered Bible. It is the one verse you can trust. So I'm putting all of these words in a collection plate. I am setting the table with bread and grace. My knees are bent like the corner of a page. I am saving your place. 